From switching on 48 megapixel photos, setting the action button to do anything, search customization, and next level intelligence, this is the iPhone 16e, half the price of the 16 Pro Max, but by the end of this video, you'll know all the best tips and tricks that make it feel just as good. Okay, so first off, we gotta talk about this camera because if you take a photo and open it up, then swipe up to show its info, you'll notice it's only 12 megapixels. But this camera is 48 megapixels, so how do you fix that? Well, what you actually gotta do is inside settings, scroll down to camera, and in here under format, make sure you turn on resolution control. Because now, if you go back inside the camera, you'll notice there's this new button called the Heath Max. If it's crossed out, you'll only shoot 24 megapixel photos, but once you turn it on, boom, you can shoot 48 megapixel pics now. Which means your pics will look way sharper and clearer, but just keep in mind it's about four times bigger in size, okay? But if you stay around to the end, I'll show you how you can quadruple your iPhone storage. And what's also really cool is once you've snapped your pics, if you open them up and tap the edit icon, right over here you got this little cleanup tool where you can tap anything on the image and poof, it'll remove it. I mean, that did a pretty solid job. And this works with just about any image. You can either tap or circle the object and bam, bye bye. But now let me show you some fun things you can do with this action button. Okay, let me show you how you can customize the heck out of this action button. Because surprisingly, there's actually a lot you can do. So inside settings, if you scroll down to action button and swipe to the left, you got some pretty standard but good options. Like if you wanted to easily activate the flashlight, Shazam a song, or even change your entire phone to dark mode, you can easily set those up. But what's even cooler is if you select the shortcuts option, then choose a shortcut, you can say open app and then select any app from your phone to open using the action button. Now, if you press and hold, bam, it opens up Spotify. And you can of course do this with Instagram to check your reels, YouTube if you want to watch your favorite YouTuber, and even WhatsApp if you want to quickly check your messages. <laughs> but to take it up another notch, this is the only iPhone you can do this with, set the action button to visual intelligence, which basically connects your iPhone's camera to ChatGPT. And honestly, I highly recommend you set the action button to visual intelligence because there is so much you can do like this. Okay, now this is something I've been using a lot. When you first press the action button and it opens up visual intelligence, if you point it at literally any animal, like a dog or even a bird, it'll instantly recognize what it is. And if you tap on the name, you get a bunch of quick info on it. Like its name actually translates to brushwood dog. Cool. This even works with plants and insects. I bet you didn't know this was called a Dorcas. And it's actually crazy at how quick it does this. But this can also problem solve for you. And what I mean by that is Let's say you've got a problem like this math sum, for example. Just take a photo, then tap on ask. Now type out what you want to ask, like please solve this. And for bam, it'll give you an answer like almost instantly. And this works with basically anything. Like I just had an issue with my printer. I took a pic of it, asked it what the issue was and got it all fixed up. Easy peasy. But possibly one of the best ways you can use visual intelligence is by using this search icon. Because what is so cool is once you tap it, it'll instantly show you more info or where you can get that item. So whether that's a gadget, something cool someone's wearing, or an item that just caught your eye, it could literally be the most random thing and it'll tell you exactly where you can get it. Like this is just too smart. But now let's move on to three brand new iPhone apps that you just gotta start using. So for the first new app, and I really love this one, if you head into the App Store and download Apple Invites, once it's installed and you open it up, just hit this Create Event. Now, if you tap on Add Background, you can choose from a bunch of preset options. You can even go into Image Playground, which I'll talk about just now, or you can choose one of your own picks, just to make it a bit personal. Then you can title your event. There's four different main fonts to choose from. Add all the extra details, like the date, time, location, all that jazz. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, you've got such a sick looking invite that, by the way, you can send to both Android and iPhone users. Useful. Then for the second app, remember I mentioned Image Playground? Well, this one 
one is a ton of fun. Once you open it up, if you tap this plus icon, you can actually choose any image from your gallery. So whether that's a pic of someone else or yourself, once you've selected it, it instantly turns you into a cartoon version, which is actually really cool to see, but there's a lot more you can do by tapping on these suggestions. Like if I wanted a bit of a party vibe with fireworks, and you can even add some text to describe what you want. Like holding a glass of champagne and bam, it'll add that to the image for you. Now you can send your custom pic along with what would have been a boring message, but is now just way cooler. And the third app you gotta know about and check out is the Passwords app, because this app saves all your usernames and passwords. And what's really cool is you can go into any one of these tabs, tap on the password, and it'll instantly show you what it is. But a really cool trick about this Passwords app is if you click the Security tab, it'll actually show you what passwords have been compromised or if any are super weak, and you gotta check them out. Okay, now I gotta show you some customization tricks because they can make a pretty big difference. So if you tap and hold down on the home screen, then select edit, under customize, you'll notice you can tint the icons now. So cool, but once you do it, it darkens your wallpaper, so just tap that sun icon to undo it. Now, of course, you can pick from any one of these colors and even change the saturation, but what a lot of people don't notice is the color picker icon, where you can choose an exact color from your wallpaper and get a really good match. What I love about this is it also tints all the widgets and even all the settings icons. Like, that just looks so good. Okay, next is the control panel, because again, you can do a lot here. So by now, I'm pretty sure you know you can move these icons around to anywhere on the control panel and even resize them from small to medium and large. But my pro tip is to stylize your control center by doing different rows of icons, list icons, or block icons. It's just so much cleaner. But possibly my favorite control panel tip is when adding a new control in the search bar, if you type out open, you'll see this open app shortcut. And once you select it, you can choose from any app installed on your phone to open when you press it. So I like to have my four most used apps. And now anytime I wanna quickly hop into one of them like YouTube, I can quickly do it. And this even works from the lock screen, so convenient. And just like that, your iPhone now looks way cleaner and more custom than before. Okay, now for this next tip, you gotta make sure that within settings under general, then airdrop, you have bring devices together toggled on. And also within the phone app under contacts and my card, just make sure you have your own personal contact card set up. Because now anytime someone taps their iPhone against yours, the bam, instantly it'll prompt both people to share their contact info. And just like that, you've switched details. By now, I'm pretty sure you know this as name drop and it works with any iPhone, including Apple Watches. But here's another secret trick you should know. If you have a photo or video and tap the share icon, instead of using any of these share options, just bring the other iPhone close to yours and voila, it'll instantly share that pic with them. I mean, that is just too cool. This works with just about anything. So whether it's a website link, a GIF or GIF videos, whatever it may be, just as long as you're in that share screen. Okay, now let's get into some cool things you can do with texting. So you know how sometimes you get a message from someone and they say, you bring me so much joy by just leaving the room. <laughs> and you just don't quite have the right emoji to respond with? Well, if you click the plus icon, you'll now find Genmoji in here. And what you can do is describe exactly what emoji you have in mind just by typing it out. And uh, hello, it'll actually make it for you. There's a couple different options to choose from. And as you swipe left, it'll just keep generating more. And once you're happy with one, go ahead and send it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just think this is too funny because you can actually choose a person from your photos. So I just selected me and again, typed out a description of what I wanted to do. And amazingly, it created some pretty great options. <laughs> As you can see, you can have some <laughs> crazy fun with this. But if emojis aren't really your thing, then another trick is inside the Photos app, if you tap and hold down on an image, you'll see this option to add a sticker. It'll instantly crop it out, and then you can go ahead and add effects. So whether you want an outline, a kind of puffy sticker, or shiny sticker, it's totally up to you. And now, back inside your messages, under the emoji section, you've got your custom stickers too. But to make it even crazier, if you want to type out a message, then double tap on any word to highlight it. If you select this little A icon over here, you can add some really slick animation effects. It can either be your entire text, or if you really wanted to, you can put an effect on every single word. Just go crazy with it. 
Okay, so let's say you get a call from someone that conveniently forgets things. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick your problems. I'll pay you back. Don't worry about it. Well, now you see this little wave icon over here. If you tap on it and click continue, this call will be recorded. Uh -huh. And just like that, anything they say is recorded. A actually, I don't need it anymore. You're breaking up. Why? Breaking up. <laughs> to listen back to the recording, all you have to do is go into your notes app and right at the top is call recordings. You can then tap on that phone call and listen to the whole conversation. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick a problem, so I'll pay you back. Don't worry about it. Then for my second quick tip, did you know that if you tap and hold down onto any app, you'll see this option require face ID. You can then choose to hide and require face ID. And what this will do is poof, hide the app. I love how easy it is to do this. And to find it again, just go into the app library and right at the bottom, if you tap on the hidden folder, it'll do face ID and then reveal all your hidden apps. And for my third quick tip, you know how the 16E also comes with USB-C now? Well, if you plug an external USB-C drive into your phone and head into the Files app, you'll notice the external drive right over there. But the real trick is to now head into the Photos application and select a bunch of different photos, videos, GIFs, screenshots, then select Save to Files and choose your external drive. And now you have officially saved them to an external drive and basically quadrupled your iPhone storage. So as you guys can see, the 16E can almost do everything the Pro Max can, but for half the price. Also, hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 3 million, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!